Before we start at the outset, I would like to tell you that there are two conditions we have to fulfill. The first condition is you are not to feel guilty at all, at all. That means you have to completely forget the past and forgive yourself. These are only mental conceptions. Why do you judge yourself? Your Kundalini will judge you. So please just say that I am not guilty at all. Don't try to remember each and everything that has made you feel guilty, but just in general. I am not guilty at all. I have not done anything wrong whatsoever. I am a human being and I have a right to become a yogi. I have every right. <clears throat> and the second one is that you have to forgive everyone in general again. Some will say it's difficult to forgive, but whether you forgive or you don't forgive, what do we do? Logically we don't do anything. But when we don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. The people who have tortured you, have troubled you, or made you unhappy, when you do not forgive them, they are very happy, but you become miserable. So, in general, you forgive everyone, in general. Again, you don't have to think particularly who are the people who have troubled you, but in general you forgive everyone. This is a very important part of Sahaja Yoga, because the center, which is there, the optic chasma, as I said, the gate, is very constricted. And unless and you forgive everyone, I tell you, this center won't open out. And you don't want to miss out your Self-realization for these nonsensical people, those who have tortured you or your life, and now also they are standing in the way. So just forgive them, all of them, together. These are the two conditions we have to fulfill. First is not to feel guilty at all, and second is to forgive everyone in general. Just to say, I forgive everyone, finished. Nothing to do, just finished. Now, we have to use the Mother Earth, and we have to use our left hand and right hand. The left hand is the one which is the power of desire, while Kundalini is the power of pure desire, the left hand is the power of desire, and the right hand is the power of action. Now here we don't do much action, but we can nourish our centers, and also by this you will know how to date on raise your Kundalini again and again. So in this uh, program, we can combine both things together in a very simple manner. It's extremely simple. So first of all, we'll have to take out our shoes to take help from the Mother Earth. You can keep your socks, but shoes should be taken out. Now to put your left hand towards me, you can put it on your lap if you want to. This is symbolic that you are, you have the desire, just symbolic, that you have a desire to get your Self-realization. So please put your left hand on your lap all the time, constantly. 
And now we have to use the right hand to nourish our centers. So first, I'll show you. Dev, will you come up, please? He will show you how to put your hands. This is all to be seen, first of all, and later on you have to close your eyes and then we'll work it out. First you have to put your hand on your heart. On your heart, because in the heart resides the Spirit. Now, if you are the Spirit, you are also your Master. And this power of mastery is within you. And the center of master is on the left hand side of your stomach, in the upper part, or you can call the abdomen. We are only working on the left hand side with the right hand. So we put our hand on the upper portion of our abdomen, on the left hand side. Please. Yeah. Now, this is the center of our mastery. Then we put our hand in the low portion of our abdomen, in the low portion of our abdomen, on the left hand side. Now, this is a center of pure knowledge. Pure knowledge means the one that manifests on your central nervous system. It's not the knowledge of your reading or your intellect, but it's the knowledge that manifests on your central nervous system, it's the pure knowledge. Then you raise your hand again on the upper portion of your abdomen, on the left hand side, and then on your heart, then in the corner of your neck and your head, take it backwards as much as possible, and then turn your head to your right. This is the center. We get caught up when you feel guilty and gives you lots of problems. This is the worst center and I see today also you all are catching it. So at the very outset, just know that you are not guilty at all. Please believe me, you are not guilty. It's your own mental idea. You are not at all guilty. You have done nothing wrong. All right. Then you take your right hand on top of your forehead across like this and put down your head and press it on both the sides. Now, this is the center where you have to forgive everyone. Now, take back your hand on the back side of your head and push back your head as much as possible, resting on the hand and here, for your own satisfaction, you have to ask forgiveness from this Divine Power, just for your satisfaction so that you don't feel guilty at all. Now, you have to stretch your palm fully, fully stretch, and the center of your palm you have to put on top of the fontanel bone area, which was a soft area when you were a child. Here. Now, put down your head and press back your fingers as far as possible and move your hand, move your hand in the clockwise manner. Put down your head and move your hand in clockwise manner very slowly so that you move the scalp with a pressure with a pressure, push back your fingers so you put a proper pressure, seven times clockwise. That's all we have to do. That's all. Now, please put your feet on both the little away from each other because these are two powers, as I told you. Now, Put the left hand towards me. You may take out your spectacles because when you close your eyes, you shouldn't open them till I tell you. And it's better to take out your spectacles. 
Now, please close your eyes. You should be very pleasantly placed towards yourself because you are going to enter into the kingdom of God. Now, put your right hand on your heart, please. Here, you have to ask me a very fundamental question. Three times. You may call me Sri Mataji or you can call me Mother. Mother, am I the Spirit? Ask in your heart, not loudly. Three times. Mother, am I the Spirit? If you are the Spirit, you are your Master. So now, please take your right hand on the upper portion of your abdomen, press it hard, and here, ask a question with deliberations you must ask. Another question, Mother, am I my own Master? Or, Mother, am I my own Guru? Ask this question. Three times. Now I must tell you that I respect your freedom and the pure knowledge cannot be forced on you. So you have to ask for it. Now please put your right hand in the low portion of your abdomen on the left hand side and press it hard. And here you have to say six times because this center has got six petals. Mother, please give me pure knowledge. You have to ask for it. I cannot force on it. Now don't feel guilty. I feel you people are feeling guilty for everything. There's no need to feel guilty at all. With full confidence, you ask for pure knowledge. Mother, please give me pure knowledge. You have to have full confidence in yourself. This is what I have told you at the very outset, that you all are capable of getting your Self-realization. So now we have to nourish our upper centers with Self-confidence, because when you asked for pure knowledge, the Kundalini has started its movement upward. Now raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen and press it hard on the left-hand side. Now here, with full confidence you say ten times, Mother, I am my own master, or say, Mother, I am my own guru. Say it ten times with full confidence, which you are. I have told you that the truth is that you are the pure Spirit. You are not this body, you are not this mind, you are not this intellect, you are not these emotions, but you are pure Spirit. So now, please raise your hand <coughs> and place it on your heart. <coughs> and here, again you say with full confidence, Mother, I am the Spirit. Mother, I am the pure Spirit. Please say it. The Divine Power is the ocean of knowledge and of love. It is the ocean of compassion and blessings. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. So whatever mistakes you might have committed, 
This ocean is so powerful that it dissolves all such mistakes into nothing. So please believe that you are not guilty at all of anything. Please. Now raise your hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and turn your head to your right. And here you have to say with full confidence, please say it with full confidence sixteen times, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Please say it sixteen times. This is the center you are catching very badly. Please say it sixteen times with full confidence. I assure you that you are not guilty of any mistakes. Please, believe me. Ah. Sixteen times you have to say. Now, you have to forgive everyone. As I explained to you beforehand, that whether you forgive or you don't forgive, you don't do anything but you play into wrong hands. So please, please forgive everyone, just forgive everyone, without thinking about them, without counting them, just forgive everyone in general. Please do that. It will help you and help me a lot to open this center. Now, raise your right hand on your forehead across and put down your head and press on both the sides. At this center, you have to say with full confidence, Mother, I forgive everyone. Now, not how many times, but from your heart, Believing in it, please say, Mother, I forgive everyone. Now, for your own satisfaction, then I want you not to feel guilty at all. You put your right hand on the back side of your head and push back your head as far as possible upward. Here, you have to say for your own satisfaction, not counting your mistakes or feeling guilty. O oh, Divine Power, if I have done any mistakes, knowingly or unknowingly, please forgive me. This also you have to say from your heart, not how many times. O oh, Divine Power, if I have done any mistakes, knowingly or unknowingly, please forgive me. Now, stretch your hand, your palm, in such a way that your fingers are pushed back. Put the center of your palm exactly on the place known as the fontanelle bone area where you had a soft bone in your childhood. Now press it hard, push back your fingers, very important to push back your finger. Now put down your head as far as you can and carefully you have to move your scalp. But before that, I have to tell you that I cannot force Self-realization on you. I respect your freedom, you have to ask for it. So you move your right hand, 
with big pressure on your scalp seven times slowly clockwise saying mother please give me my self realization Now please take down your hands and slowly open your eyes. Now put your right hand towards me like this little higher and put down your head and see for yourself you have to certify if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your head some people will get hot because the heat has to come out put down your head and see for yourself don't touch your head little away some people get it very much further down but still you can see it here now don't touch don't touch your head don't touch take it further it's not to touch All right. Now put your left hand towards me. Please put your left hand like this, like this, like this. Left hand. Now put down your head and see for yourself. But not touching it further away. There should be a distance between your head and your hand. Please see now. Is there a cool breeze or a hot breeze coming out of your head? now again the right hand and put down your head again and see with the left hand now put put your both the hands put up your both the hands like this push back your head and ask a question mother is this the cool breeze of the holy ghost mother is this the all pervading power of god or mother is this the parama chaitanya ask any one of these questions three times put back your head and ask now put down your hands please now you watch me without thinking you can do it without thinking now those who have felt the cool or the hot breeze out of their heads or on their hands or fingertips please raise both your hands both your hands both just imagine the whole of san diego may god bless you all you felt it so this is the city of devas city of gods and now you are the saints but you must look after your ascent and your fixing up the ascent that's all you have to do little steadily those who haven't got realization also with all of them get you can go and see the people who are here they have been working here for so many days but what they say that people come here and then go to somewhere else and then go somewhere else this is not the way it is going to work out you must pay full attention and you must work it out throughout and master it absolutely master it you can do it i know you can do it it's very easy so may god bless you all and next year i'll be again back here and see you all may god bless you
Now use your hands, use your hands and see that, how you can help people, how you can help yourself. They'll teach you everything, how to raise your Kundalini, the whole ten technique. As I told you that in the Vedas is written that you must know the mantra, yantra and tantra, three things after realization. That is the, oh, the mantra is the chanting, what is to be used for raising the Kundalini and tantra is the one which is the technique and yantra is the mechanism. Everything you will know in no time. Only thing you should assiduously work it out and respect your Self-realization, respect yourself. You are very important. I think San Diego people are the most important people for the whole of America. Please, I hope you will not let me down. May God bless you.